فاشرف بي لاشتغال بالعلم ولا تبغي به ما عشت يا ذا بدلا ويا له من شرف عظيم Just so you all know, brothers, inshallah and sisters, we're going to be taking questions after regarding everything I said, so don't worry. So the author, as I said, what did he mention? He mentioned four things right now. The first thing that he mentioned was the basmalah. He said, Bismillah rahman rahim The book started with that. Then he mentioned the hamdalah, alhamdulillahi, rabbil alameen. And then he mentions after that, the shahadatayn. Shadu an la ilaha illallah, wa shadu anna Muhammad rasulullah. Sah, shahadatayn. And then the fourth which he mentioned, which is, as salatu ala nabi Salutation on the Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and peace wa ala alihi wa ashabi on his companions and his family. Those are the four things that the author has now told us. That's what we took from his statement. And those four, the sunnah is when writing a book, sending an email, the sunnah of the Messenger is more of writing the best malah, just to write bismillah. As for the concept of writing the hamdala, is mainly for the khutab, when the person is doing that, salmon. In the salmon, the Friday khutbah, you don't say Bismillah when you're starting, you say Inna alhamdulillah straight away. But when you're writing letters, you say what? You write the basmalah and you leave off the hamdalah because the Prophet ﷺ never used to write on his message letters that he was sent to the leaders, he would not write alhamdulillah on it. The author then says, Amma ba'du, to proceed. Falam yazalil ilmu irthan jalilan. The author says, فَلَمْ يَزَلِ الْعِلْمُ Knowledge has been, because the, word, the reason I'm saying has been is because فَلَمْ يَزَلْ is نَفْيُ نَفْيُ إِثْبَاتٍ That's the قَاعِدَ Negation, to negating something twice is an affirmation, right? Because the word لَمْ is a nafi, right? Are you with me? يَزَلْ is also a nafi in it. The word lam is a nephew, it's a negation. And what yazal is also a negation. It has ma'na nephew in it, a meaning of negation in it. So two negation, which is nephew, nephew, ithbat. Negation, negation is an affirmation. Knowledge, so the meaning is going to be yakunu ilmu irthan jalila. That's what the author is trying to say. That knowledge has been what? Irthan jalila, a honorable thing that has been inherited. It's always been something very honorable that's been passed over. Has always been the case. تتعاقب عليه الأماثل جيلا جيلا. تتعاقب means what? That one after the other have been passing it over to one another generations after generation. The word تتعاقب comes from the word عقب. It's the heel of the person. If you look at the person's heel, so somebody's behind another person, heel to heel. That's what the word tata'aqabu means. A meaning one generation passes away, they pass it over to the other, and it, they are one after the other. The word al-amathil are the honorable people. The honorable people are passing it over to each other. Jilan, jilan. Jil means what? Generation. Generation after generation, they are passing it over to each other. The honorable people. Laysa li tullab al-ma'ali hammun siwahu. The people, Tulab Al Maali, the people who have high aspirations, high goal, their aspiration and their lofty aspiration is what? Nothing except it. Laysa li Tulab Al Maali, the seekers of high. Maali here means what? Something that's high. Those who are seeking something high, they have nothing besides knowledge which they are, they love. They have no other hem, aspiration, except what? Knowledge. That's all they live for. And that's the truth. Shaykh al-Islam ibn Taymiyyah, when he went to the leader of his time, and he said to him, Mulkuka, your kingdom, la yusawi indi fil sayni. It is not equal to me two cents, I'm two pennies. Ah. To me, your kingdom, and by the way, you have to realize, these people didn't, they didn't lead I mean, they didn't uh, control a little qutr min aqtar al ard, a little portion of the land of the earth. These people had uh, lands and regions and peninsulas right now, which different countries are holding. 
different countries are now governing part of those countries. He, Harun al-Rashid, it was said about, he used to say to the, he used to speak to the clouds. And he would say to the cloud, Imtiri, to the cloud, Imtiri hunaka or hunalik. Go and reign over there or over there. Do as you wish. It will come out. Your, your fruits will come out for me. Ah, cloud, go wherever you want. You know how vast his kingdom was. Wherever he reign, I will get the money back. It's either going to be zakat, or there's going to be spoils of, or it's going to be ghanima taken from the disbeliever. It might rain on the disbeliever's land, he's going to have to pay jizya from it. Or it's going to rain on a believer's land, and it's going to be zakat that's going to be taken from him. Either way, I'm going to get money. Even he's trying to say how vast his land was. Huh? And Harun al-Rashid was like that when he died, what did he say? Halaka anni sultaniyah. He said, my proofs and my evidence. Because when he died, he, re he lost everything. And he realized that this is all gone now. Money and wealth goes. Because sometimes you're rich and you got everything. And the other day you come, you have nothing. So what did he say? Halaka anni sultaniyah. Ay halaka anni hujjati. My proof, everything I possessed, I have nothing from it. What do you take from this dunya? A white shroud. That's all you own. Like some of the scholars, when they did done, done the tafsir of the ayah, don't forget your portion and your nasib. Don't forget your nasib from this dunya, meaning don't forget your portion of this dunya. Some of the scholars, they said, oh, don't forget to attain money and work and do. Don't forget that. Don't become heedless and run to the deen only, which is the aqwal of some of the mufassirin. But some said, no. dunya means don't forget your shroud. Oh, that's all you own from this dunya. That's really what you possess. That's really what's yours. <laughs> Your whole money will only manage to buy you a shroud. That's all that's, all that's going to go in the grave with you. Everything else from your wealth is gone. It has turned its back on you. So the person, look at this author, he says, Laysa li tulabil ma'ali. The one who has, ma'ali means high. The seeker of high, he has no hem siwahu besides knowledge. There's no other desires. He lives for this. This is all it means to him. Look at Imam al Nawawi. What did he possess from this dunya? Nothing. Rather, he had no children, never got married in his life. He had no children and no... He had never got married. He had no children. He had no wealth. Ma'adhalika, he was what? Mashariq al ardu wa magariba he still mentioned. Generally speaking, a person who's remembered is a person who has offspring. And his children are passing on his name. And his name is carrying on. Now all his name is carrying on without no children. Shaykh al-Islam ibn Taymiyyah, his name is still being spoken about. When he's what? Long gone. He had, didn't possess much money. He didn't have children. They never got married in his life. But he's not forgotten. So the person who wants to really go to the top, who has, who has, who is a seeker of a high level, he has no other drive. He's no drive in his life better than having knowledge. That's what's going to benefit you in your grave, Allahi. Because look at the questions that you're going to be asked. Mar Rabbuk, ma Nabiyuk, wa ma Dinuk. Those questions are knowledge-based questions. No one's going to ask you about money and children. You can be the most bankrupt person in this world if you want to. You still, if you have knowledge, you'll be able to answer those questions, inshaAllah ta'ala. وَلَا رَغْبَةَ لَهُمْ فِي مَطْلُوبٍ عَدَاهِ وَلَا رَغْبَةَ means they have no passion to seek anything besides it. فِي مَطْلُوبٍ عَدَاهِ مَطْلُوب means to seek, to sort. What? عَدَاهُ Anything besides knowledge. No, they don't. Whenever you see them running on the street, they've got a book in their hand. They're running to the masjid. They're, there's a halakha going on. They're going to a course. They're leaving their sleep. Yeah. All of that, they have no other drive except knowledge. The author then says, وَكَيْفَ How can that not be the matter? How can somebody not have high aspirations as knowledge? How can somebody not be, not be one who has passion in seeking knowledge? How can he not be? وَبِهِ تُنَالُ سَعَادَةِ الدَّارَيْنِ With it. With it you will find the happiness of the two worlds. This world and the world of the hereafter. Ad-Darain means what? Darul dunya wa darul akhirah. The happiness of this dunya and the happiness of the hereafter is connected to what? Look at it brothers. A person who has knowledge today, he doesn't sit with the rest of the people. In a halaqah, he's always higher than them. Everybody's pointing finger at, fingers at him. If he's a hafid bi kitabillah, Whatever he, even if he's dunya knowledge. Muhammad al-Amin al-Shanqiyatiyu said, Man arada dunya fal yata'allam. 
Anyone who wants this dunya, he should learn. Woman arad al akhirah, fal yatallam. Anyone who wants the akhirah, he should learn it. Woman aradahuma, and anyone who wants both of them, fal yatallam. That's all. If you want this dunya, can I get a good job, well-paying job if I don't have knowledge? See knowledge. Akhirah. If I want it, what do I need? Knowledge. Allah says, "Yarfa illahu ladina amanu minkum." Allah raises ranks, stations. For what? The one who has knowledge, he's not with the rest of the people. He's been taken ladders, staircases. A ladder's been given to him and said, climb up, climb up, climb up, climb up. Why? Ilm, ilm has raised him. Fi dunya in this world and also in the, in the hereafter. وَلِذَلِكَ الشَّيْخْ مُقْبِلُ بْنِ هَادِ الْوَادِعِ رَحِمَهُ اللَّهِ It was said, كَانَ قَلِيلُ الْيَدِ He had very little, he didn't possess a lot, Sheikh Muqbil. Very poor. He has a book called Damul Mas'ala. Don't ask people for nothing. Don't ask from the people. He has a book called Damu Al Mas'ala. Sheikh Muqbil ibn Hadi al Wadi'i, he wrote a book called Al Jami' al Sahih, Mimma Laysa fi Sahihain. Narrations he brought together that are authentic, that are not in Bukhari and Muslim. And plus, he had no sons, he only had daughters. And as you know, in the Arab culture, generally, if a person doesn't have a son, they somehow discredit him. They say, they look down at that person. They do. It's the cultural when that really isn't the case. Anyways, the point being, as Shaykh Muqbil ibn Hadi al-Wadi'i said, this book of mine, Jami' al-Sahih, which I authored, is better for me than if I was given nine boys. My love for my kitab, Jami' al-Sahih, that I authored, that I brought about, is better for me if I was given nine sons. Allahu Akbar. Reason is because he knew that this is for him Sa'adatu darain the happiness of this world. And he used to say, Rahimahullah Ta'ala, he was very poor, very, very poor, very poor. And when he wrote this book, Dhammul Mas'ala, was a time when Damaj, it became, it got hit by poverty, poverty hit it. So what he did was, as Shaykh Muqbil, Rahimahullah, he wrote this book, Don't Ask, because people started to call Europe. Those were from Europe, those from America. Those who were from uh, uh, the, uh, Australia, they started to call their people back home and say, we need money, send us money, we're dying. So he wrote a book, Dhammul Mas'ala, don't ask the people for nothing. Rahimahullah Ta'ala. It was said that he used to say, my hardship, my stress, in which I endure, as soon as I open Sahih al Bukhari, and I say, Haddathana, he said, all of my stress, and all of my pain, and all of... My distress, he said, it will leave me. As soon as I open the book and I, I say, Qala haddathana, why would he say that? He realized Azamatul ilm, how great and how noble knowledge is, and that it's not a light matter. If somebody today tried to take knowledge from you, swap it with you, a dunya wa ma fiha, this dunya and everything in it is not equal to it. And that's why Ali ibn Abi Talib's statement summarized it all. What did he say? He said, Kafa bil ilmi sharafan Enough to show you how great knowledge is, is that the one who doesn't possess knowledge is claims it. Is there anybody if I said to him today, you're a scholar, you're a person of knowledge, who wouldn't be happy? Everybody would like the idea of being a person of knowledge. But the, would anybody here uh, uh, accept to be called an ignorant person? Even if he's ignorant, would he like it? He wouldn't like it. That's enough to show you how low and how pathetic ignorance is, and the one who's ignorant. Uh, the Sheikh says, وَكَيْفَ How can it not be something you seek? And how can you not make that your ultimate goal? وَبِيْتُنَالُ السَّعَادَةُ الدَّارَيْنِ When it is what? What you will gain the happiness of this dunya and the hereafter. وَطِيبُ الْعَيْشَيْنِ And also the happiness of these two lives. Aish means to live. Then the author goes on to saying, هُوَ شَرَفُ الْوُجُودِ وَنُورُ الْأَغْوَارِ وَالنُّجُودِ He said, he said, هُوَ شَرَفُ الْوُجُودِ Knowledge is the honor of what, the most honorable th thing that exists. شَرَفُ الْوُجُودِ The most honorable thing, is from the, from the most honorable thing that's present. I feel wujudi that's present in this world today. Knowledge is from the greatest. Look at the person who graduates from the university. Are you there? who's a doctor, he puts his certificate, sticks it on the wall. So when the people come in, they see the stars, they see everything, huh? 
he shows the people he knows. Are you with me, brothers? It's the most honorable thing in this world. Wanurul Aghwari Wanujud. And it is the light of Al Aghwar. The word Al Aghwar is this, it comes from the, it's the Jama of Ghawrin. It's the Jama of what? Ghawr. Ghawr means any, th any place that's low. The land that's low is called Ghawr in the Arabic language. It is what? It is Man Khafada Wat Biha. It is the land in the Qamus. It says the land that's low. It's Ghawr. Are you with me, brothers? Wanujud is Jam'u Najdin. Sah? Wanujud is what? Jam'u Najdin. Are you with me? Powerful how this, the author said it. Are you with me, brothers? And the power of his language. Let me explain this what he means. It's the light of this world. That's how he means it. How does he mean it's the light of this world? The world is, if you divide it into two, one part of the earth is what? It's, do, it's low, it's down, right? And that's Ardu Tihama. In the Arab lang, land, Tihama is a part that was low. Najd is Iraq. Najd is Iraq. Iraq is higher than Tihama, which is Jazeera al Arab and all of this. It's low. So when the author is trying to say here right now is, it is the light of both worlds, I mean the whole world. It's what shines it. Hilyatul Akabiri wa Nuzhatul Nawadhiri. Hilya means what? It is that which adorns Al Akabir. Akabir here doesn't mean the one who's old in age, it means the one who is high in caliber. High and he's great in status and rank. The word Hilya, it means Zinatuhum, is what you adorn yourself and you beautify yourself. Ismul Lima Yutazayyanu Bihi. It's what you adorn yourself. And that's why the author, Rahimahullah, uh, Sheikh Bakr ibn Abdullah Abu Zayd, he called his book Hilyatu, Hilyatu Talib al-Ilm, that which the student of knowledge should adorn himself with, beautify himself with. The, uh, the people whose caliber is high and their rank is high, what is it that they beautify themselves with? Knowledge. They don't beautify themselves with money. It's the jahala, the ignorant ones who beautify themselves with what? Money. Because money goes and, and it leaves you. It comes and it goes. As for ilm, it stays with you and it remains with you. As uh, Abu, Ishaq, uh, Abu Ishaq al Ilbiri, what did he say? Khafif al Hamli yujadu haythu kunta. It's something very light. Not like money where wherever you go you have to carry it in. The more it becomes, the more heavier it becomes. Knowledge, the more heavier it becomes, the more lighter it comes. Yujadu haythu kunta. And it's always found wherever you are because you're the person of knowledge, right? It doesn't depart from you, it doesn't leave you. The author says, it is that the people's caliber are high and the honorable people, they beautify themselves with knowledge. Wa nuzhatun nawadir. Nuzha means what? It's the greenery. Nuzha is the greenery. An nawadiri in which a person enjoys looking at. Knowledge, when you open the book and you read, it's like a green greenery that's placed in front of you with your eyes, just warmth and enjoyment that comes to you. That's how it is for those people of uh, high caliber. Al-Akabir, whenever they see knowledge and they are looking at matters of knowledge, it's like the greenery. Your heart, you relax. Some people, they go, huh? To little hills and little greenery places, sah. <coughs> and what do they do? They, they enjoy themselves. That's what it is. Man mala ilayhi na'im. Anyone who leans towards knowledge. Na'im, blessings he feels. He finds blessings. Man mala ilayhi na'im. Anybody who leans towards knowledge, he will find happiness and bliss. وَمَنْ جَالَ بِهِ غَنِمْ And anyone who revolves around it. Jala means what? It's to revolve. يَدُورُ حَوْلَهَا Anyone who keeps revolving around knowledge now. He would what? غَنِمْ He will gain like spoils of war. Now. وَمَنْ إِنْقَادَ لَهُ سَلِمْ And anyone who submits to it. Submits to knowledge and gives into knowledge. Salima, he will be safe. He will be what? That individual will be, will be safe. لو كان سلعة تباع لبذلت فيه الأموال العظام. If knowledge 
was a product that was sold. لَبُدِلَتْ فِيهِ الْأَمْوَالُ الْعِظَامُ A lot of money would be the price on it. People would purchase it. People would buy it on a high amount of price. The money that it would be worth is very high. لَوْ كَانَ سِلْعَةً If it was a product. لَبُدِلَتْ فِيهِ الْأَمْوَالُ Wealth would be put in it. An عِظَامُ A great amount of money would be the price for it. أو صعد في السماء لسمت إليه نفوس الكرام. Or if knowledge was placed up at the sky, then those whose aspirations are high and serious and who know the value of knowledge, they would take a ladder. They would try to go up and to get it. Those people whose nufus, whose souls are high, if knowledge was placed at a high place, they would find a way to climb up in order to get it. They won't give up.